situation has arrived, or has arisen, which is typical of all some of the arguments I've heard against EV, saying if you're driving every day to and from work, you've got low state of charge and you have to go somewhere in a hurry. Well, we're going up to Kempsey, 500 kilometres away, and I've been driving to and from work every day this week. So the car is at 65% state of charge. So chuck in a better route plan and have a look. So it's telling us from our place, 65%, stopping at Heatherbrae for 20 minutes, then heading up to Kempsey to arrive with 10% state of charge. Now, 20 minutes stop at Newcastle. It is almost four o'clock in the evening. It's dinner time. So while the car's charging, we'll stop and get some food, go to the toilet, as if you were driving a petrol car, I guess, this time of night. Total trip would be four hours, 54 minutes. So I don't think this would take any quick, be any quicker in a petrol car than an EV. So, let's hit the highway and the Sydney peak hour traffic and enjoy autopilot driving us to Heatherbrae. Terrace Supercharger. We're the only one here. And um, a bit of rain on the way, pretty much the entire way since the M7. Got here with 21%, or about 90 kilometres of range. We're going to stop here for about 20 minutes, according to the computer, and then we'll be on our way to Kempsey. All in all, it's no slower than a, um, a petrol car. So we've got 20 minutes to kill now. I'm going to go find a toilet. That means going outside the rain and getting wet, which is not fun. And I come back and we'll get stuck into something to eat, like maybe a pain raisin or two. And a drink, of course. So, we'll come back after our supercharge and we'll head off to Kempsey. So, here we are, arriving at Kempsey, crossing the McClay River. It's 9.30, so we got here pretty much exactly as planned. We had a 20-minute stop at Raymond Terrace for lunch and a recharge. Total energy used, 220 watt-hours per kilometre, which is not surprising because we did have, like, some serious heavy rain coming through Port Macquarie. And now, enjoying the lovely sights of Kempsey as the rain eases off because he just drove through a storm. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to head back to Sydney, obviously, but on the way back we're going to stop off at some of the new charges and give you guys a look and see. And yeah, Taree and the new charges at um, where's the new charges again? There's one at the Taree. There's charges. I don't know. We'll find all the new charges we can on the way back and have a look. We'll take our time coming home tomorrow. So there you have it. The answer to the question of what happens when you have to go for a long drive in a hurry in an EV that's only half charged. Though to be honest, this situation will be greatly helped with installation of fast chargers at the edges of urban areas. So if you've got even less than half charge or driving an EV with a lot less range, this still wouldn't be a problem. So yeah, it took no longer than it would have with a petrol car, half a tank of fuel, you'd still have to stop and refuel anyway. So charge time would be food, about the same. So, see you tomorrow. Well, it's the next morning, it's Saturday. The car has been charging overnight on a 240 volt general power outlet. But we decided it's such a nice day, we're gonna take a drive a bit further north up to Maxville. Just to check the place out, have a look, and also spend time with relatives before heading back home on Sunday morning. Now we're back in Kempsey. It's hard, if not impossible, to go past an old fashioned style fish and chip shop you just don't see in Sydney anymore. Battered fish, caught locally in the river, fresh cooked right in front of you while you wait in a place that looks like it hasn't been renovated since the 1970s. And of course, back home, the recharge car again overnight on the 240 volt outlet before we get off tomorrow. So, we'll see you then. As you can see, it's the next day. Now we're heading back home. We're now leaving Kempsey after very slow charge overnight. We're at 25%, 111 kilometres of range. So now, according to the car, we're going to stop at the Port Macquarie um, supercharger or the NMA DC fast charger just down the road from that. We're not exactly sure yet. Where do you reckon we're going to stop charge? Where do you 
Yeah. We're going to stop at Tyree now. Yeah, okay. We'll stop at Tyree. So we'll just put a little bit in at um, the Port Macquarie Supercharger at Catherine Wines. And then we'll go down and check out the new charge box chargers at Tyree. So next time you'll see us, we'll be in this camera again at another supercharger. finished charging here at Port Macquarie Supercharger. We've added up to 210 k's of range, we've been here about all of 10 minutes if that. What we're going to do now is head on to the um, new DC fast charger, the hyperchargers, the 350 kilowatt chargers at Tyree. I think on the EV Go network they are, so we've just spent the last 10 minutes um, creating a new account, so we're going to use the charger when you get there. So we'll see if we can crack the 250 kilowatt charging limit. I don't think anybody's done it in Australia yet. I think Tesla Tom and a few other people have had a go at it, but no one's actually cracked the 300 kilowatts yet. So um, we'll give it a go. That's what. That's why we stopped charging at 209 k's. So by the time we get there, we'll have um, hopefully have enough gap in the battery so when, um, we can get the higher charge and go for the charge record at the moment in Australia. So on to Tyree. Arriving at the Tyree. Service centre beside the road, Caltex, Maccas, all the usual stuff you expect to see at a charging area. Now we've just got to go find this charger. So let's take a charge at 123 kilometres of range you're at. So. Okay, Birch covered plug, CCS2. Okay. We need to open up the charge port first, obviously. Plug it in, it's a bloody heavy plug, give me that. Okay, so how does this work? Use the app. This is what annoys me the most. You've got to use the app. I know you've got to pay for this one. Happy to pay us how it works, but why can't it just be um, tap and go? I mean, there's a RFID reader right there. Why can't this be made just use tap and go any credit card? Doesn't make sense. Please wait. Why can't it be PayPal? Here we go. Ramping up. 26%. Can we beat Tesla Tom's record? What was he get? 190 kilowatts, I think, didn't he? That's a record for us. 150, crank it, 170 kilowatts, holy shit, 180. Oh no, 188, come on. Turn air conditioning on or something. <laughs> 175, we'll drop back down, 175. So we've peaked at 188 kilowatts, that's pretty impressive. Oh well. It's like Tom, looks like your record's safe. See you, yeah, Tari EV chargers. Not a bad setup. Close to Macca's, there's food, there's KFC, there's a service station if you want it, I don't know why. Maybe a toilet, that's about it. Yeah, place still stinks of petrol though, unfortunately. What can you do? Okay, so back on the road after leaving the EV charger. Just had a quick look in the app. Total cost was, how much was it? $12.90 something. $12.90 something. 49 cents a kilowatt hour it worked out as. And to have long we're there for? So 12 minutes. So we're there for 12 minutes and it costs us what, 12 bucks. So essentially a dollar a minute to charge. Depending and, on the speed. Depending on the speed, of course. We did top out at 188 kilowatts. And for now, the tapered down to when you unplugged to about 90 kilowatts when you unplugged it at 56%. So if that has got a sleepy headache, I've just finished suffering through a sleepy headache. So I'm some nibbles and nuts before sucking another sleepy headache. <laughs> to Raymond Terrace. Green, there we go. Now we're charging. It's absolutely Heather Bray Supercharger now. We're not far from Sydney. We'll probably chop top up right up to near full, maybe to get us home so we don't have to drain the power walls when we get home for our own power, I guess, even though it's still free solar. But um, yes, it's quite windy. So here we are. Not a bad place. There's a service station behind me over there with toilets and food and things. I'm not sure if it's 24 hour or not. Who knows? But that's it. That is our quick emergency weekend trip from Sydney to Kempsey, 500 kilometres leaving Sydney with only 65% battery. So it can be done. So that's the answer to what happens if you have to go somewhere in a hurry, a long distance with an EV and you don't have a full charge. See, not that hard is it? It can easily be done. So, got this far. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Wear a mask outside if you have to and um, hope to see you all on the next road trip. Take care. Bye.